So DJI are about to release a delivery drone, if the rumours have us correct. Now this is not a surprise and I'm quite keen to see DJI getting into this, but some people are getting excited and I have to say, don't be, because we're not going to see it. And I'm going to tell you why. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys, it's good to see you again. Yeah, so the rumours are out, you know, especially after the, you know, the Mavic 3 Air or the Air 3 Air, or whatever it is, that has come out. And the usual leakers, Igor Bogdanov, has released some images and some information about the much-anticipated DJI delivery drone. Now, should we get excited about this? No, we should not. Absolutely not. Because... This drone will never see the light of day in the West because of the certification and verification. It will take a long time. You need hundreds of hours of flight time. You need a lot of documentation, a lot of testing. And this, you know, no one in their right mind is going to be spending this kind of money on this kind of drone, which is going to be costing, you know, about ten to twenty thousand dollars or euros. Uh, I mean, at least I would say. Uh, you have to have a whole infrastructure as well with this drone, not only software, but you know, you know, you know the boxes and where to, you know, you know, what, you know, will there be a box to actually store everything in and take off and land from? We don't know yet. Um, I would assume that that would be necessary because you have to have this kind of, in, you know, this kind of infrastructure. Will it be a winch? You know, all these things. I'm quite interested to see, but. This will not happen in the West. This this drone will not see light of day in the West because it takes too long and will be way too costly. So that's why you see drone delivery companies having their own drones because they build them specifically for the verification process so that they understand it from the ground up. Taking this drone is like having a black box and you don't know what's in it. Uh, so other other companies like Zipline and 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 Wing and also Drone Up they they really you know take their drones and and they really understand them from the very beginning. That's why they actually develop them. Drone delivery. Off-the-shelf drones, is it a good idea? No, it's not. It really isn't. And, and, and I think that this could be a mistake for DJI, I'll, I'll be really honest. Um, but obviously time will tell. I can't wait to see this in action. I can't wait to see the flight time, for example, and to, and to see how, how they get on on the controller. And, and it looks to have RTK on it as well which is quite nice. How are they using that RTK? Are they going to be using the government RTK uh, or are they going to be using the, uh, you know, let's say the DJI standalone one? So these things are, are, there's a lot of questions here as to how this is going to work and I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite keen, keen to see how it goes. What do you think? Are you excited by this drone? Do you see the future? If you're a possible entrepreneur who's looking to get into drone delivery with your drone company, it, does, does this excite you? Well, I can tell you right now it shouldn't because it's not going to happen. But I'm interested to hear your views anyway. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. And as always, fly safe.